Hello and welcome back everyone and today I am super excited to be doing a shot for shot trailer breakdown for the new upcoming season of The Challenge USA Season 2 premiering on August 10th. Now before getting into this trailer breakdown I do want to say that there is a potential spoiler warning as we could see some elimination matchups. Maybe we'll see some daily challenges where we'll see possibly who goes on to win the daily challenge. So I'm just throwing it out there. If you do not want to be even potentially spoiled just even a little bit, do not watch any more of this video. But if you are not worried about potential spoilers and want to hear all of my theories and me deep dive into this trailer, well, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. Speaking of jumping, here we are. Scene number one, where we're at a daily challenge. Right off the bat, I really dislike the CBS eye just in the middle of the screen. I do think that the person in the light blue or gray lane right here is bananas. And then to the left in the orange lane is Corey. Now, it's quite interesting because when you look at the initial cast photo with TJ and everybody on the rock ledge and everything. It looks to be like there's going to be like a season 20 three team format to this season. As you can tell from the layout of this daily, there is not just red, blue and brown. There is a blue, a green, light blue, gray, orange, pink. So what does that mean for the format of this game? Is this just for this daily challenge in particular? Or does this signify that there could be a switch up in format in the middle of the season a la season 37 or season 33, season 27? We've seen it happen before. So that's my first theory of this trailer breakdown is that maybe we start the game off in a three team format. So that way, not all the vets like clump up together to take out all of the rookies and everything. Instead, they put them in a three team format. They have to work together, maybe work with people that they wouldn't normally work with. And then maybe halfway through the season, they break apart and it becomes an individual game. Then we move on to the next scene where we can see that it is an overhead shot of the same daily challenge and yeah, we can see that uh, it looks like Corey in the orange. We can see that the green gets it. So congratulations to the green. It looks like uh, this is going to be a really difficult challenge if you're trying to get all the way to the very end and jump. I don't know who can jump that far. Somebody call ACDC because we got some lightning going here. Oh, no, they do thunder. Thunder. And here we are with a truck daily challenge. Uh, they found a tarmac. They found two giant trucks. And this is... Pretty reminiscent to World Championship. This is reminiscent to War of the Worlds. And it looks like when they flip around the camera that there is a, two boards on either side of the truck. And there's going to be people hanging from the boards trying to move their circles from one side to the other. As we can see here with who I feel is maybe Alyssa L., and Tiffany and as we can see there's the three colors of all three teams of red blue and brown gray I don't know what the that color is anymore maybe they're trying to populate as many spaces with their team colors as possible the team that has the most circles populated on the one side will win this daily challenge now let's go over some voiceover where we have in the beginning of this trailer, we have what I believe to be Tyler saying, this is not Big Brother. It's either Tyler or Chris. It's either a Big Brother player or it is somebody who is critiquing a Big Brother player and is not liking how they're playing the game. And they're saying, well, this isn't Big Brother. Then you have Corey saying people are coming for blood and it's going to get ugly and that's when we see Tiffany holding on to a whole bunch of red circles and then she slams into the side of one of the trucks and one of the boards. Then we have this interesting daily challenge of what looks like people are hanging or trying to get across from one side of the board to the other. It reminds me a little bit of Fresh Meat 2's daily challenge called Waterlogged or Free Agents daily challenge called Piggyback which were both like people trying to hang on to uh, something hanging over water and trying to get across, but that's what it kind of reminded me of. But we can see that there is a red player falling directly into the water here with TJ saying the challenge USA is back. We have two giant hot air balloons, but they are tethered 
to what looks to be a giant contraption. And so players are going to have to make their way from one side of the basket to the other basket. I, is there anything else to this challenge? I know it's a high challenge. I know it's got to be nerve wracking for people to do. I know I would be nervous doing it. My palms are already sweating just thinking about being up that high. But I don't know. This seems more like a spectacle than maybe it being a really interesting challenge to watch. But we'll have to wait and see what they're doing with the actual hot air balloons. If they're are doing anything with the hot air balloons. We have the infamous Bananas First Night Toast, where he is saying, representing the red, white, and blue before he pops off the champagne cork. Now this is a really cool shot in my opinion because this looks to be the entrance way to the elimination arena for this season. And we have, I think, one team coming in and then we have another team because we can see that all the people right here are wearing the same colored uniform. We have Corey. Then in the next frame, we have Sebastian. Then in the next frame, we have Cassidy, Tori, and then Chris. And then you can see in the background that, oh, and then Alyssa. And then in the background, we can see the red team coming in. So maybe in these scenes where we're seeing the one team walking in, that they're going into the elimination and also the red team is going into the elimination. So I believe Corey is on the blue team. So if that's the case, then it could be red versus blue where the brown team are all good. That they have won whatever challenge, they won safety, they don't have to go into the elimination. And so for this elimination, we have the blue team versus the red team, and maybe this is the first elimination matchup. Then you got these jet skis, and later on in this trailer, we're gonna see that it's like two challengers per jet ski, and so this could be the intro on how the game starts, kind of reminiscent to season 33 when TJ and all the challengers, and all the vets, I should say, were riding up on the ATVs to see the new players, and so maybe they're doing the same thing with these, like, sea dudes. Then we have Tyler from Big Brother. Maybe this is a close-up for him going into an elimination and they're reusing it to as a promo. It looks like they could be going into elimination. Monty possibly going into elimination. Tiffany is also here from Big Brother. You got a lot of Big Brother. And then you have Desi here who has a voiceover saying, this is really a redemption season for me. As we can see a little bit in the background, uh, barely make it out, but it looks like Chanel is right next to Desi and I can't really make out anybody else's helmet. They're very blurred out. We missed some voiceovers. We had TJ saying, and for the first time, CBS Reality Titans. And then later on, he'll say, battle it out. Um, then we have what I believe to be Chanel saying, you are not in Kansas anymore. It sounds like we got some good, we got some good one-liners and good quotes in this promo. I feel like we can have some real spiciness. Now we have this daily challenge where it's a water challenge. People are jumping off of a, a side of a cliff to jump into the water and then swim to what looks to be a puzzle station. Nothing really remarkable because this is a like GoPro footage. So all we're seeing is like the water and the challenge flag and some buoys over on the side. So maybe they're gonna have to swim to those buoys and get some puzzle pieces over there. But if we go a little bit further, we can see Josh is in this scene. So uh, Josh is still in this game when they're doing this daily challenge. Uh, I don't know who else is going to be doing this daily challenge, but all I can see is that Josh is clearly in this uh, game still when they're doing this challenge. Here we have an elimination where, again, TJ is saying battle it out. I really wish they didn't put words over the scenes. It would make my life so much easier in these challenge breakdowns if just the words weren't there while people were on the screen. But this is an interesting elimination, it looks like, because there are balls. They're trying to wrestle for balls. There's what looks to be little windows or something with like crates and wire on there, hog wire on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this elimination. As we can clearly see, it is blue versus red. And we can see that that is Tori. Tori is going to be an elimination. She is t taking on a challenger. I don't know who this person could be on the red team. Maybe Chanel. And of course, TJ is saying battle it out. We have what looks to be all of the competitors wearing all black gear. And as we mentioned earlier, everybody was pretty much in a three team format with red, blue and brown. 
However, here we are in all black. I have a feeling that this could maybe be the first daily challenge. This is them walking up, and then TJ is saying that we're gonna be having a solo challenge. People are going to be trying to get first, second, and third, where maybe they will be team captains, and then they can pick their teams. That's my thought, because it looks like everybody is here. We can see Josh, Chanel, Alyssa S, Michelle, Cassidy, Tyler. I mean, everybody is there. This looks to be like the king of the mountain type of game where you're trying to wrestle people off of the platform to be the last person standing to win for your team. Looks like all the guys are here. We have Fessel, we have Bananas, we have Tyler, we have Corey, and I think we have Josh on the left-hand side here. Corey going after somebody. I don't know who he's going after. Uh, it looks to be a taller person. Um, yeah, it's not anybody that I recognize. So maybe it's like Chris or something. And what's interesting is that are these like the seven people who are left in the game? Because again, are they in teams or are they not in teams? Is this kind of like in season 20 with the SWAT gear trying to push people off? I don't know. They don't have like blue or red shorts. So I don't know if they're actually competing in teams at this point or solo wise. I don't know when this is like what round is this? Is there way more people in the game and they were knocked out and now they're going, I don't know. Of course we have Tori. Corey's here, excited to see Corey on this season. Then we have Johnny Bananas. Let's go over some of the VO that's on here as well. Uh, we have Johnny at one point saying, the rookies have no idea what's in store for them. Then we have TJ saying that uh, we have CBS Reality Titans battle it out with legends from the challenge franchise. And then that's when we get to see all of these challengers being uh, shown all at once. And Banana is saying, I am the challenger that keeps everyone up at night. Okay, sure. Uh, Banana's being a part of the blue team, carrying what looks to be a safe across a uh, field by, with some help from Alyssa L. Here we are with the jet skis again. As we can tell, we have what looks to be possibly Amanda and Corey. And here we have Tori and Johnny. Johnny's just chilling as Tori. Uh, Tori does not look to be happy, and she is on a jet ski. Uh, then we have Bananas and Wes here, which, happy to see that they are, like, hanging out with each other, being friendly with each other. But can I just say, like, how many layers? How many layers do you need, Wes? Uh, why why are you shielding yourself from the sun so much? I mean, you have a beanie, you have a giant beard, you have long sleeves on, what looks to be like a winter coat. Bananas is out with his, with his arms, no sleeves. And then you have Wes, who's making up for Bananas' no sleeves with extra sleeves. It's absolutely wild. Um, here we have Alyssa saying, once I get an opportunity to take these vets out, I'm 100% going to take it. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think any of the vets or anybody in general are shaking in their boots thinking that, oh no, Alyssa, I'm a target for Alyssa. Oh no, I'm shaking. Oh, don't do it, please no. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Now we have a different angle of where the players are trying to jump into the water, where we saw Josh on the side here. And as we can see from here, uh, trying to look past some of these words that they were putting on the screen, uh, we can see that people are jumping off of one side. And then if you go a little bit further, we can see like a puzzle station or a bin of some sort. So it looks like people are going to have to jump into the water, swim all the way out to those barriers, grab something that is underneath the water and then swim it back to shore. And maybe it's like a relay race where once you drop whatever, once you retrieve something, then one of your teammates is able to jump into the water and then and the team that can collect all their stuff the quickest will win into power. That's the best explanation I have for this game in the voiceover because of the words that are on the screen in the fiercest competition yet. It looks like they're trying to help TJ move from the top of a mountain all the way down to the bottom of the mountain because they have this like rickshaw that they're trying to like drag this statue downhill and take it somewhere. And we can see on the red team. Now this could be like the first team daily challenge uh, of the season because on another angle, we'll see the red team and it looks like everybody from the red team are still there. Now, as we can see in the shot, we have Pauly who is relatively quiet in this trailer, along with a lot of other people. Yeah, here's Pauly 
uh, watching the statue just fall over. As we can see, we have Polly and Michelle, also Josh, and then I think we also see Bananas there as well. And here we are with TJ saying, this is the Challenge USA, and then we move on to August 10th on CBS. Now let's harken back all the way to the beginning of this promo to that first challenge where everybody was trying to jump and grab a stick and we can see that Fessel is here. Maybe the pink team because it looks to be on the left hand side of the orange. Now we're back to the King of the Mountain daily challenge or should I say Queen of the Mountain as we can see that we have who looks to be Chanel versus Cassidy I believe as they're wrestling and then if we move forward a little bit, we have right at the bottom of the screen, we have Alyssa L, I believe, just getting absolutely squished by the weight of these two women, as well as having her hands full with who looks to be Michaela also bodying her. So this is going to be a really tough matchup. Either that's Alyssa L or Alyssa L. S. We're back to where everybody was hanging and we can see somebody falling directly on their back. I will say that this trailer is doing a pretty good job at trying to not being too spoilerific. They're not harping on too many eliminations. They're also keeping their distance, zooming out 500k. That's what the prize money is this season. And then we have what looks to be a water-based daily challenge as everybody's wearing life vests where we have the brown team of Wes Michaela and Monty getting excited about something that is happening. Looks like Cassidy is still in the game as well, being on the side, trying to wipe her eyes. Here we have a swimming challenge. I think this is the challenge where everybody is jumping into the water to then go swim and try to untie something that's being uh, that's underneath the water and then they have to swim back onto shore. I feel like Fessel and Alyssa S here are absolutely exhausted from swimming so much. Here we have Desi. Holding on to Michaela, maybe their team won the holding up challenge where everybody's just holding on to the poles and maybe Michaela held on for the longest because she didn't want to fall into the water. Maybe she didn't feel like she could hold on. Maybe she didn't feel like she could do it. Maybe she was nervous being up that high and boom, she was able to pull out the win. That's just my interpretation of seeing that. And here we go. We have an argument happening between Fessel and and Josh, we know these two guys are best friends. We've seen this happen before on season 37 with like Pizzagate 3.0. And here we are, you know, here we are. We have Fessel who is, can't button up his top three buttons. And Corey who is on his team, the blue team, and he's trying to hold them back. And uh, Josh is yelling. We're gonna see Tori getting in the way here. We have Wes who's in the background who couldn't, care less about this <laughs> and then uh yeah tori is like trying to like get in between the two i mean this does seem kind of like wash rinse repeat deja vu to season 37 because that was a three-team format and i mean it's kind of a similar layout of the house it looks like and it's it's kind of eerie a little bit it's like uh, why why are we having yet another argument between these two we need something fresh we don't need uh, uh, another like argument between Fessel and Josh when we know th nothing is happening. Here we have that statue challenge where, as we can tell, we have Chanel, Tiffany, Michelle, Josh, Bananas, Polly. People are in the back. So that's why I think that there is either at least seven red members still left or they're all eight and this is the first team challenge and that's why they're showing it because it's going to happen early on in the season here we have everybody lined up in a row I uh, it doesn't look like the red team is happy and here we have an elimination we have some spicy spicy heat here uh taken from josh and fessel where you kind of eye roll because we've seen that before well here we have tiffany looking to go into an elimination against Michaela here. And Tiffany is yelling to the crowd saying, get your ass down here and play. And then in the next frame, we have Amanda who's standing close to Desi and Wes. And Amanda is saying, <laughs> and Amanda is saying, I hate you. Is this Tiffany versus Amanda or are they doing some editing magic here? Personally, who cares? 
this is going to be awesome. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's either we're going to get some hot drama between Amanda and Tiffany, or we're going to get extra drama between Amanda and somebody else and Tiffany and somebody else. You know, I mean, Amanda has enough people to get into squabbles with on the cast and uh, so does Tiffany. Tiffany has uh, some vendettas in this house as well. I mean, this could get super, super interesting. Looking back, we have some voiceovers where TJ is saying America's best will be pushed to their breaking point. Then we have Bananas when he's trying to carry the statue. He says, you guys need to help to everybody who is standing in front of him. And then we have Tyler here in a confessional. I kind of like this confessional room. I don't think it's going to be the same in the actual season. Tyler saying, I'm not going to give into temptation not this time, and then boom, he's making out with Alyssa, who looks eerily similar to Angela. So, I mean, Tyler does have a type. Then we also have some a some romance talk, some crush talk here between Sebastian and Tori, who seems to be getting very close with each other. Sebastian saying, I have a crush, but is it good for my game? And he says, uh, no. Then we have a daily challenge where people are going to be on like a truck that also has a trampoline on top and players are going to have to jump and time their jump to grab onto flags and grab as many flags as they possibly can. We're going to see a little bit more of this later on, but we can see that Josh is doing this challenge. Then we're bringing out the American Gladiator giant globes that you can run in. I'm sure that they just grabbed the ones that they had for double agents, spray painted them different colors of the teams, and then went on their way. I believe that this is Tori and Fessel in this globe. I don't know who this is dangling. I almost think that this could be Dusty, maybe? And this is when TJ says, and this time, no one is safe. People are jumping off of a pier into the water to swim. Maybe this is the finals or start of the finals or a part of the finals. Here we have a an elimination where it looks to be, if you look in the background, we have red team dressed up for an elimination and we have the brown team dressed up for elimination, meaning blue team is in street clothes, meaning they won that challenge that day. So possibly we have the red team versus the brown team and nobody there who is in the background was chosen. So we have two poor saps being chosen and they're doing an elimination. Uh, they're going to get dunked and possibly have to grab a whole bunch of balls. Is that an elimination? I guess that could be elimination. I don't know who that could be. Maybe that is Alyssa. I don't know who that could be. But as you can see, they're getting lowered down really quickly and they're going to get dunked. Then we have Tori saying only six challenge vets are in this game. We need to make sure we get to the end. A.K.A. we challenge vets need to band together. But not all six of you necessarily like each other. And do all of you want to see each other in the finals? As well as how can you prepare for that? This has to be a confessional before they get into teams or they're going to try to like do a, some collusion in some way to keep each other while in the teams. And then if anything changes in the format, they'd be good. I don't know, but it does not surprise me that Tori is the one putting at this out. Like, Oh, we challenge vets need to stick together because that's been like their bread and butter with the vacation Alliance for the past long seasons, but for the past few seasons. Now this is something very interesting. It does not look like we're going to have the algorithm this season, which thank goodness, I did not want to see the algorithm again. However, this contraption looks like TJ is playing the lottery. He's going to get a lucky number and that's going to be the Powerball. But in all seriousness, I think that this is something that is somewhat interesting because Michelle says at one point, very that's coming up, says one vote is the thing between me and going home. Home. So my thought process was, what if the team that wins is all safe, they're all good, maybe they're in power, maybe they get to vote in one person from one of the losing squads, and then going into the elimination, the other team does not know who is going in, they can't vote on who they want to send into the elimination, instead it is by random chance there is a 
voting system where it's not necessarily like, oh, well, the majority vote gets to send somebody in, but it's like the lottery where there's a random chance that you could be sent in if even just one person from one of the teams votes for you to go into the elimination or to be nominated to go into the elimination. So like say your team wants to vote you in, so they write your name in, but because everybody gets their own vote, now your name, however many votes you got, will be put into this contraption and TJ will pick a ball out by random and even if you got, say, four votes, and then there was like two votes and two votes, one of those two votes could go and you're safe even though you got your name four times in there. I think that that is wild. But to me, that's my biggest theory because of what Michelle says. Unless there's like a deadlock in team voting and somebody is like the sway vote to either send her in or keep her safe. But another theory could be that even just one vote will put your name in the randomized system to then be put into a ball where then TJ at the elimination could pick out your name even if you just got one vote by somebody. Here we have a sneak peek of an elimination. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm looking at. So if anybody has any idea what this is, let me know down in the comment section below. Here is Michelle saying one vote is the thing between me and going home. Hopefully not. I'm really rooting hard for Michelle. I feel like she hasn't gotten a fair shake in much of her challenge experience. So being on the challenge CBS along with other Survivor players, I would love to see her make it far. TJ is saying, who has what it takes to make challenge history? And we have Cassidy coming in saying, in Survivor, I was the runner up. And in here, I'm not making the same mistake. Love to see it, Cassidy. And here is what I think is the jumping off into the water and having to swim out and then pull yourself down to try to unlock something. It reminds me of In the Island. Abram, Tanya, and Kenny played, where they played in a face-off, in the first face-off against each other, and they had to swim out to then go down where they had to untie a peg, bring it all the way back, and then climb their pole and put in the peg and then have to do that over and over again. That's what this kind of reminds me of except for it is uh, a team-based game, which looks to be absolutely exhausting. Here we are with a hall brawl, a new and improved hall brawl. We are not having full contact here. Instead, each player, it looks like, has a pad with them, and they're running and having to use the pad to try to push each other. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, a mashup of the hall brawl and the pushover elimination from the duel two kind of combined with each other. And maybe this will lead to less injuries as it looks like this could be the final elimination right before the finals as we can see TJ in the background and then we can see in the back, they blurred out the faces, which I, I that's a great touch because I think the challenge knows I was gonna do this but it looks like there's only one, two, three, four, five, six players. And then we can see the contact here. Oh, we have the winner too. A competitor from the other hall brawl, uh, possibly the woman's hall brawl. And uh, yeah, they're blurred out too, wow. Then we have Bananas doing the hot air balloon bridge challenge. It does look to be a very thin bridge. So maybe I was too harsh on this, but uh, yeah. So he's walking back and forth, and then we hear from Corey, who's doing a confessional, saying, I don't care if you've won seven times, I'm winning today. Meaning Corey's here to win. We know that Corey and Bananas has had this rivalry before. They kind of put it aside a little bit uh, in Total Madness. But here we are, and Corey's like, I came back to win. I didn't come back. I didn't leave my family to come back here and just kind of like, just try to play it safe and coast. It sounds like Corey is here to play the game and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for Corey to be here, honestly. And here we have the truck trampoline flag challenge, as we can see it coming up the road and we can see somebody's bouncing up, trying to grab it. This looks like bananas, honestly, as they're trying to uh, jump on the trampoline as high as they can to grab it. Then we go to a zoom in on Fessel doing this and he just gets all the air. 
He gets all the air, grabs the flags, and then is falling down and, and then boom, right before the person falls down on the trampoline, we are hit with the Challenge USA logo, CBS original, the Challenge USA season two, new season happening Thursday, August 10th. And then it's gonna be on CBS, but also streaming on Paramount Plus. You can live stream it on Paramount Plus while it is airing, and then it's gonna be available the next morning, most likely. And that is it for the trailer breakdown. There was a lot going on in that trailer breakdown. Again, I cannot wait for the super trailer that will be coming out. That's going to be like two, two and a half minutes. And I feel like we're going to be able to see a lot more. I just felt that there were so many people that they could have touched on, but we didn't get to see nearly as many people as I wanted to. We got a little bit of Desi. We got a lot of bit of Corey, a good amount of Tyler. There was some bananas in there as well, maybe a little bit of Alyssa, but other than that, there wasn't a ton of people that were featured on here. Like the Amazing Race players, Dusty and Lewis were nowhere to be seen. Chanel, Casty was here and there. I don't know, it, it was weird. It's a weird kind of trailer that I think really put an emphasis on the games and eliminations rather than the players which is a little odd, but again, I'm gonna be waiting for that two, two and a half minute trailer. But what do you think about this trailer? Let me know down in the comment section below. Is there a scene or something that I did not fully dive into or something that you noticed that I didn't point out in this trailer breakdown? Let me know down in the comment section below. I love reading comments about your theories and what you saw in the trailers and what I may have missed. Please let me know anything and everything you thought of this promo trailer and anything that I may have missed, please let me know down in the comment section below. I wanna give a special shout out, thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakefids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.